welcome to my brand new official 2023 fully furnished apartment tour so i hope that this gives you some style inspiration some home decor room decor inspiration we're gonna also go into little details of my apartment like we're gonna go into my fridge see the kinds of food i have we're gonna do it all here i hope that you love it just as much as i do Okay, so let's get started. Welcome to my apartment tour. So this is the front door. This is the entryway that you walk in. And I just wanted to show this because I think it's pretty cool. So it locks on your phone. You actually unlock and lock it on your phone. But you have an extra, I think Seb called it a deadbolt or something. So it's like super locked, super sturdy, amazing. Love that. Okay, so this is the front entryway. I'm echoing because it's honestly so big. So I added this little crochet decoration right here. I thought it was so cute. And I put the little fake leaves in here I thought that that looked nice over on this side of the wall we have a nest so you can control it like this this is how you change the controls this is how you put on the heat which is what I've been doing recently a lot you can turn it to cool or you can turn it off which is what I'm gonna do right now and it turns on and off really fast you can also put that on your phone I believe I just haven't done that yet where you can like control the air and the heat from your phone I have this little moon mirror in the hallway and if you come over here we have the hall closet which is a nice little piece of extra storage we have some extra hangers we have rave jackets regular jackets just a quick grab and go we have our vacuum Swiffer stuff we have our step stool and just some shoes and my purse and all the good things these are the shoes that we wear on a regular basis so it's nice to have them just right here also I have my little wooden cross hanging up I think that's really really nice so this is our bedroom so you go to the left right here this is the bedroom oh we have little mrs. May here she wanted to say hello she's eating her braid it's her favorite so this is the bedroom I wanted to keep everything a lot more plain and neutral and I'm really liking how everything turned out we have Callie's little avocado bed right here we have my blanket basket I've had this basket since my first apartment in Orange County I think and this blanket my aunt Nancy gave to me and oh my god we all love it so much Callie loves it it's so soft so good so this is our bed it's just a very light which I really like I know we're gonna enjoy this in the summer so I got like a really light duvet cover for us we have silk pillowcases so these are like taupe silk pillowcases this pillow in the middle I've had for a while I'm not sure where it's from and then we have the matching duvet pillow covers in the back so it's like a nice little bed set Super cheap, super simple. I got everything off of Amazon and it was not too expensive. So on my side of the bed, I have this cute hanging decor that I had at the top of my stairs in my last apartment. I got everything off of Amazon and this is a little botany book and just little decorations. This is a crystal and we have another one right here. So on my side of the bed, I have this book that I honestly stopped reading back last summer and I haven't picked it up again, but I'm about halfway done and I want to finish this because it's really, really good. I recommend it if you guys are looking for a new read. It's called The Power of Now and I love books like this that make you think. This journal has came with me through every apartment, every living situation. I've had this since I was like maybe 16. There's really nothing in it. I don't write anything in it, but I keep it at my bedstand everywhere I've lived in my young adult life so I think that's really cute we have our lamp here that has the mood lights in it and then I got a jewelry holder I've never had anything like this it has all my necklaces it has my bracelets right here it has earrings like earring holes I think that's so cool and then I have some breads back there some rings and then my mom got me this for Christmas or my birthday I believe and it's just a little candle with an O on it she's so cute I got this from world market this is my center for makeup and getting ready this is our salt lamp it stays on 24 7 it's super cool at night so I'll show you at night I have all my makeup in the drawers and I have my mirror my brushes and a cute real plant because I love a mix of real plants and fake plants we have these giant windows I wish you could see how big this room really is but it's just kind of hard to tell we have Seb's nightstand on this side of the bed and it has all of his books he has some really interesting reads as well the seven spiritual laws for success the daily stoic we love reading stuff out of the daily stoic so very much recommend he has his sandalwood and tobacco candle it's mine but i gave it to him to put on his side of the bed and then the other mood light lamp i love the like design in this lamp i think it's really really nice we have a ceiling fan up here and it's just amazing it's very very big compared to what we've had in the past now you come over here and i will show you guys our bathroom we have storage right here so we have you know towels right here folded like a hotel we have some stuff up there we have toilet 
paper, towels, hand towels. And then we have all of our storage stuff in these drawers. We have Seb's toothbrush over there. We have soap. We have a little fake plant situation going on here, which I actually broke. That's why it looks kind of wonky, but it's fine. It does the job. I have my perfume, which I love. I have my toothbrush right there. And then I have all of my like immediate stuff that I use every day, deodorant, face lotion, hair ties, floss picks and all the good stuff and then like in these i just put my curling iron and my straightener because that's what i use on a daily or at least when i get ready to go out more stuff in here the double sinks just seriously make it you guys like look at the beautiful princess space in here like it just makes me so happy we have our scale right here we have our towels hanging up i have my towel for my hair too that's what the white thing is and then we have a hand towel and then i decided to hang up this olivia and sebastian piece of art that a subscriber gave me a few years ago it really gives the bathroom some life and then we have our beautiful stand-up shower that callie is clearly bothered by right now she loves to watch us shower every day she literally watches like a creeper it's okay because it's Callie we love her I did not know I needed a stand-up shower I have my face wash I have my razor I have shampoo and conditioner if you're looking for a shampoo and conditioner recommendation I recommend Davinus for sure and then we have this cute new rug that I got from Amazon as well it's literally so soft so now let's go into my closet this is my closet which is right next to the bathroom and it's all mine because Sebastian has the other closet which is my boyfriend if you guys don't know so I did my best organizing everything I think it looks really good Good. I'll kind of give you an idea of what everything is. So these are like some accessories and purses. These are my bras. These are my pants and shorts. These are my skirts and pants. And then I have all of my shoes beneath my clothes which makes it really really organized and lets me like walk around so nicely in here because it's just not crowded with shoes like it was in all my other places so yeah I have rave shoes back here I have some running shoes over there my docks which I wear all the time my pajamas are in the back and then I have some miscellaneous stuff some rave stuff and these are two wigs this wig the blue one I use for my pretty pixie business which is my rave store this one I actually wore to Arizona for a bachelorette party and then this shirt is for my mom i'm gonna bring this to her when i go to san diego in a few days and then i have all of my glasses here i've never had a place to put my glasses so they were just kind of all over the house but i have all of my real prescription glasses these ones are new this is a cute set i'm gonna be wearing to mexico i cannot wait to take pictures in that it's the cutest set you'll see it on my instagram go follow me on instagram I have all my tops that i like to wear these are like newer tops and then they kind of go to like older tops but everything's really organized I don't have too much stuff because I literally cleaned out half of my entire apartment before I moved here. So I'm very like limited to what I have and I love that. And then I have dresses up here and then I have more like older clothes. These are definitely older, but they're still things that I would wear. Like everything I have is something I will wear. I went through every piece of clothing in my last apartment. And then right here I have my bikinis. So I have a ton of bikinis in there. I think I have some lingerie pieces in there too, but I have a ton of bikinis. Some I'm going to wear to Mexico. And then I have tube tops up here. It's very easy to grab and go when I'm being lazy. Tube tops are my absolute favorite when I'm being lazy. So I have some Almighty oh tube tops. I have some LF tube tops. And then these are all my workout clothes. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I haven't been working out much lately, but I've just been focusing on my eating. My eating is the easiest thing in the world now. So I feel like I'm able to keep the weight off. We have my skirts up there, little sequin kimonos and things like that. This bra I wore to EDC last year. I love this gold decor. Another Amazon piece. So this is kind of like my walkway vibes. I think it looks so aesthetic and so good. It's so pretty. And then I have a big mirror right here and I put the little fake plants around it. I think that's a nice little touch and addition. And then we have my TV. We have Sebastian's gaming headphones. We have some crystals and then we have a fake plant. We have a charger right here. The charge is really fast so it's nice. So my phone's charging right now. We have more fake plants, crystals, and candles. I have this little bunny decor right here that my mom got me and I think it's so cute. She calls me bunny and I wear glasses, so it's perfect. And then in this corner, we have our lamp that's also a mood light. We have quite a few mood lights in this house and we have a fake plant down there. Now that you kind of have an idea of the living room, we will come in. This is my computer station. And then I have my microphone, which I actually need more reasons to use it. I wanna do more voiceovers. And then this is my shipping label printer. This is how I print out people's shipping labels and get their items to them. And then we put this cute plant so I've got it from Trader Joe's, I believe last year, and I love the little face on it. We've been trying our best to keep it alive, but I think it got too much sun. That's why this one kind of looks like that. And then I put this gold decor, which is probably one of my favorite decor pieces ever. I got it from World Market. I put it above 
the computer area. I didn't overdo it with the stuff I put inside of it, so I just put little gold birds and fake succulents. I think that looks nice and clean. So this is our living room couch area. I wanted to give you a view before we go closer. Here's Mrs. May again. I don't love blankets on the couches, but until we get a new couch, I'm just doing what I have to do because our couch under it is just not very comfortable, so the blankets really help. So I wanted to go with like an earthy theme. I have like a sage green blanket, I have cream, I have rust pillows, tan blanket over there, tan pillows. I wanted this to be very earthy. So originally we had these as two separate pieces, like there was a side chair and then this little couch, but our movers put them together and we love it and we're not gonna change because it, it looks so good together like it looks like an actual sectional couch and it feels like one never going back That was like the smartest thing ever. Thank you movers. I got this pillow from Amazon I got these rust pillows from at home. I got these pillow covers from Amazon, which I'm obsessed with these I think they're very very classy and I got this from Amazon as well I think it's like a nice mixing textures. I'm all about that I think this is like the nicest couch setup. I've probably ever had I'm very much living for it So here's my coffee table and this is from at home. It's amazing quality. It was only $150. It's just a simple beautiful earthy coffee table Which is exactly what I wanted. I got these stone coasters from Amazon So we got this beautiful plant from Lowe's yesterday. So it's called a philodendron I don't know how to say that at all So we have real plants in the house now and we have a lot outside which I can't wait to show you And then over here next to the couch we have a fake plant and it's from world market and I love this part I think it's so nice from the computer area You can see the kitchen and Callie's little area over there and we have this third eye decor So pretty it's a little mirror and then we have our laundry basket right there from this area Let's go into the kitchen. We have an island. I have not had an island for a very long time. The island has tons of storage. We have our crock pot in there, our pots and pans. I organized everything like really well. So we have forks, spoons, our scissors we cut everything with. We have all of our utensils in this drawer. We have kind of miscellaneous stuff, measuring cups because we bake all the time. We have these white bar stools that once again are amazing quality. They were $50 each. They don't feel cheap whatsoever. This is a real plant that we have on our island. We got this from Lowe's as well. Lowe's has really good deals on plants to be honest definitely go to Lowe's and get yourself some plants and then we have this nice little candle here that actually came from Sebastian's work party his work Christmas party his CEO like literally handed me this like flower basket thing with a candle to take home and the flowers obviously died but I kept the candle then we have our trash right here our dishwasher we have our spices over here our spice rack and then this is a cutting board right but I like to use it as a drying rack I know that that sounds weird but I don't have a drying rack and I've been getting into hand washing stuff a little bit more because our water is cleaner here at this apartment and in this area and then yeah we have all of our under the sink stuff down here we have our sink just nice cleaning stuff our paper towels our toaster which I love it's a double toaster haven't been using my blender that much but love to have a blender in my house at all times and available for use because I do usually use it a lot in the summer for smoothies and I like to ground up my oats and make oat flour with it and then we have our Keurig right here which is used multiple times a day every day. This is the best thing in the world Seb loves Pete's and Tully's which I do as well But I've absolutely fell in love with Duncan cold So it's a k-pod that's specifically made to make iced coffee But I was hating that all the k-pods were tasting so watered down when I was making iced coffee So this is for iced coffee, so I highly recommend it. It's so good I honestly want another one when I'm done filming this and I might have it So go get yourself some Duncan cold and then right under it. I have all of my reusable straws then we have our oven and microwaves I have two towels they're for two different things this towel is for drying off dishes this towel is for drying your hands so the oven in our last place did not work you had to put on like an extra 10 minutes on your food so I am just absolutely ecstatic to have a beautiful kitchen a working oven we have our Brita water filter I always put my bananas back there because I am a banana freak I eat so many bananas here is our pantry area so you can get a little idea of the food that we have Seb has a literal five pound tub of Skippy. I just can't even believe that. I have protein powder, sugar-free syrup, magic spoon cereal, Seb's bagels, rice, 
beans, cornbread, sugar-free cookies, PB2, chocolate dusted almonds, which are like the best thing I've ever had, and just a lot of other good stuff. Just everything you could possibly need. What do you need? I have it. We have liquid IV galore because they keep sending me stuff and I love them so much. I have some protein bars right here. I'll give you an idea of the kind of food that I have, I guess. Why not? This is my coffee cup. Condiments. I have so much fruit, you just can't see it. Literally, this whole level is fruit. This is all unsweetened almond milk. More fruit and potatoes in here. That's all there's in there. And avocados. And then turkey for turkey sandwiches. Literally more fruit. We got chicken that we made yesterday. All of our coffee creamers. Eggs. My leftover Subway sandwich that I'm probably going to have after this. More sugar-free treats. And then core power protein shakes and peanut butter. So that's pretty much the tea and in the freezer we have more bread that's frozen chicken salmon and cauliflower pizza and we have Callie's food because we get her farmer's dog we get her like fresh food so this is Callie's food she lives her best life and then I have broccoli and pesto pasta I'll show you this area too so when you come over here this is the couch area this is the kitchen we have this little area that's definitely supposed to be for dining but we made it Callie's area she loves to play over here and it's right by all the windows we like to open open them and also open the windows during the weekends and you can just like hear the sounds you can hear the birds chirping and you get the sunset through here every single night so over here we have the lamp that has our other mood lights so we have mood lights pretty much like all around the house and then over on this window I have the little crystals out that I've collected through the years so I've had this chalkboard since I moved up to my first apartment and I used to have everybody that came over sign it and put their name on it and I think that that's so cute it's a great memory that I have with it I guess I don't really know what to put on it now I want to just put like random inspirational quotes earlier like last week I had I am creating the life of my dreams and I thought it was super cute but I feel like it's time for a new one I have the fake leaves draping off of it and some fake plants and some crystals let me know what saying I should put on here okay so from this lit area where you can see some of the house so this is the vibes you can go out to my patio and i'm going to show you my garden of real plants it's very simple not too much but let me show you so i'm going to be a little quiet so this is my patio seb is amazing he literally planted everything so you can kind of see like the nature below so i still get all the beauty of that we have the water can so we can water everything now and then and we have i believe these are snapdragons Callie loves them and we had to do a bunch of research of flowers that are safe for Callie and snapdragons was like the only one that we found and they had them there. So tell me these aren't just so gorgeous. So we finally have flowers again. Also Seb put moss in here and it just looks so good. I love the moss. We have the succulent that we've had for definitely over a year. We have this which are both succulents. Seb picked out this one, he loved this one. I was like, I don't want that one. But he loved it, and then I picked out this one. I think these are so cute, they look like little flowers. And then we planted this pretty flower looking succulent in this blue pot that I think is so, so pretty. And then we just have our chair set that we've had for a long time, but it's perfect, it does the job. It's just so pretty. Okay, so now for the other part of the house. This is our laundry room. We have the big double doors, and then we have the large, I believe these are like older style washer and dryer, but I honestly prefer them. We used all of this space for washer dryer stuff, of course, and then it was nice to have a little extra storage. So I have like my air fryer up there, and here we have our second bathroom. So we have a honey hand soap right there. We have some fake plants, gotta have the fake plants. And we have like a mountain adventure vibe going. So that's kind of what I call this bathroom is like adventure bathroom. These were in different rooms before, but I feel like now they look way better in a room together. It's more like cohesive and has a theme. It's very simple. This is obviously like the guest bathroom, but we use it here and there, but I do prefer to use my bathroom. There's some storage stuff under there and nothing else really anywhere. So this hallway has some storage stuff here. I have some jewelry right there, a coloring book. I have all my pretty pixie stuff. So I decided to turn this into my rave small business area. So I have the mannequin for the head chains that I made. These are the head chains. Wrapping stuff for the packaging. I have more packaging. I have so many candles. Candles for like different seasons and things like that. Poshmark envelopes. I have envelopes that I send out my pretty pixie stuff. I have a scale. I have more pretty pixie stuff. That's literally all pretty pixie. And then down here, I have painting stuff. Me and Seb are actually gonna be doing a paint by numbers. So we're gonna paint this all ourselves and we're very nervous and intimidated because it looks very hard. But we're gonna get it done. And 
then we're gonna hang it up in the house and it's gonna look so cute. My mom got Seb and I this canvas photo of us for Christmas and we were like, this is the coolest gift ever. So this is our most recent photo together from his company Christmas party and it's just so cute. I love having a picture of us hanging up on the wall. And then this is where I charge my camera for filming YouTube. So I have it right here close-ish to the computer. And then the last room, darling. So you come in. You have these two beautiful windows right here. You have another ceiling fan and this mirror right here it has a little fake plants around it. Gotta have that. So this is my sewing machine. These are my outfits that I've sewn and just like empty boxes and things. This is my fabrics. I didn't want to take this chair. I've had it forever, but no one wanted to come get it and I had it up for like $20 on offer up. So I just kept it and put the little pink pillow on it. I think it's so cute. This is my astrology situation that my old hair lady painted that's like my literal birth chart and she made it blue because I am two water signs in my big three I'm a Scorpio Sun cancer moon Taurus rising so two waters and an earth and she decided to make it blue so I think that's super cool I have my treadmill so I actually got this for a sponsor and it's a really good treadmill so I have this ready to go if I do want to work out but I do feel like I'll be walking around the area a lot more and like going to the gym here so I'm not too concerned with this because I'll be out and about a lot more working out but still a good option to have I'm just a little nervous about neighbors I don't know if I need like a noise canceling pad or something I'll probably get that before I'll use it because I don't want to bother the neighbors I love this art piece probably my favorite one in the house I just think it's so beautiful I got it from world market it's very big and then I have my mannequin right here that I sew with and I put my clothes on to model it and I have my measuring tape around it so I look like a serious seamstress oh so cute over here is my rave stuff so this is for my pretty pixie business I have all the butterflies that I use on my clothes I have some straps in here. I have more sewing stuff down there. And then this is just miscellaneous pictures of Seb and his dad from when he was little. And then, of course, my YouTube plaque. I don't really know where to put it. So I just have it right here right now. But such an iconic moment in time when I reached 100,000 subscribers. Now, I won't really go into the closet too much here because it's Seb's closet. But I do have my rave thing in here. So this is mine. And the movers accidentally put it in here. So I have lots of accessories. I have tights, necklaces, goggles, fuzzy things, sunglasses, chokers I think I have handcuffs in there too I don't even know just lots of accessories and then in here is my like newer rave stuff and stuff that I'll actually wear so these are my pretty pixie outfits like right here right here right here these are what I sell in my store so I have them ready to go because I'm gonna be wearing three of my outfits two at beyond wonderland day one and day two and then one for EDC day one so I am repping my brand you guys you guys got to check it out the pretty pixie.com if you're looking for a cute little rave outfit and then I have other rave stuff lots of cute stuff I haven't worn yet and then I have like older rave stuff that I probably won't wear but or that I've already worn so it's like you don't want to rewear it you know I have it in there just in case that's a pretty solid gist of the apartment I hope you guys loved it as much as I do so we also have a garage we have some storage stuff back here there's plenty of space for the car and there's plenty of space for all this stuff like where would we have put that in the apartment mm -hmm.